And so we're going to go on to our next uh, presenter. Um, in this case, we're going to Mark and Karen Lucas. And so um, we're, we're going to now turn over to Mark and Lucas. And I guess you guys are on, off mute. You got the floor. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Karen and I are organizers for Yuri's Night Global. We started about six years ago with Yuri's Night LA and had since progressed into the global realm. A little bit about what Yuri's Night is. Yuri Gagarin, for most of you, was the first man ever to circle the earth. In 1961, on April 12th, about six o'clock in the morning, he took off for a 108 minute flight that circled the earth. With that, Earthlings became a spacefaring people. That single act started us on a trek that led us not just to land on the moon, but to explore the furthest reaches and send robots outside of our galaxy. Yuri's Night celebrates this. Karen, how did that all start? 40 years after that event, Loretta Hidalgo Whitesides, George Whitesides, and Trish Gardner started Yuri's Night. They were Caltech alums, and they were at Caltech at the time. Go Beavers, out of Pasadena, which is where we have JPL and a fabulous, robust group of people that are very much looking towards space. And they wanted to celebrate not just that event, but humanity's past, present, and future in space. That single small party has grown to a worldwide event every April 12th. This year, we have 91 parties across all seven continents. Unfortunately, thanks to COVID-19, uh, they're almost all virtual. However, there is one party meeting in person in Antarctica on Ross Island tomorrow night. We wish we could be there. <laughs> <laughs> However, that has not stopped us by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. Normally we have Yuri's Night LA as a flagship, one of the flagship parties. Any other time when we wouldn't be at stay at home orders in Los Angeles, you would find us with a couple thousand people shutting down the California Science Center and partying under the shuttle with all sorts of space enthusiasts, astronauts, scientists, people that like space and science fiction as well as real space. Our goal is to essentially democratize space and we all can get there together. And we really want everybody to know, young and old, that there is space for everyone. And space is not just people flying in space. It's the people with the vision. Yuri's Night LA and Yuri's Night Washington DC and Yuri's Night Moscow, all these places, you'll see people who are both engineers and space enthusiasts. It's one of the few places you'll see a stormtrooper shaking hands with a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great lineup because we did go virtual, and that's actually happening today, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where our flagship experience, our celebration, is going virtual. So we encourage everybody listening and any of your friends and family to jump on. The commute is super cool because it's in your bunny slippers at home or your Klingon suit. And we even have a costume party that you can check out if you'd like, if you are so inclined. And you can enjoy the wonderful lineup that we have here for Yuri's Night Global going virtual. And where do we find Global Virtual? It's really easy to find. It's at webcast.yurisnight.net. We'll put that in the chat shortly. It's webcast.yuriesnight.net. You can get the link to the YouTube feed. You can see the entire lineup. But who are some of the people we're going to see, Karen? Well, 
I'm very excited. We have a killer lineup. It is current NASA astronaut Jessica Meir, and she's, um, gre she has a greeting for us from space. She's currently living and working aboard the International Space Station. Canadian astronaut and YouTube sensation Chris Hadfield will be joining us to talk about music, art, and something near and dear to all our hearts right now, <laughs> long-term duration isolation. <laughs> Retired NASA astronaut and art ambassador Nicole Stott will join us and talk about the beauty of our planet and how it has inspired her art. And two more people who understand long-term isolation, retired NASA astronaut Scott Kelly is going to be discussing this with Grateful Dead founding member Bob Weir. Hmm. Uh, the first Korean, South Korean astronaut, uh, Su Yeon Yi, will talk about her experience in space and how she has adapted to life afterwards. Katie Coleman is going to share her recorded flute duet with uh, Jethro Tull's Ian Anderson, which was done at the 50th anniversary when Katie was on the International Space Station. We also have Rod Roddenberry, the son of Star Trek creator Gene Roddenberry, and he'll talk about projects of the Roddenberry Foundation. He's also the executive director of Star Trek Picard and Star Trek Discovery. So bring your Trekkie questions. Kelvin Manning, assistant director for NASA's Kennedy Space Center, will talk about NASA's astronauts launching aboard commercial rockets to the International Space Station. This next person is near and dear to my heart because we have four generations of Girl Scouts in our family. Sylvia Acevedo uh, will share her story of going from being a poor girl to working as a rocket scientist for JPL and then becoming CEO of Girl Scouts of the United States of America. A man I grew up watching on TV, Bill Nye, the science guy, will be talking <laughs> <laughs> with Kaz Abnar of the experience about climate change and its impact on our planet. Dr. Cyan Proctor, an environmental impact on, on the environmental impact of COVID-19, human quarantine on the planet, will discuss her analog space missions leading to the Meals for Mars cookbook. And Robert Picardo from Star Trek fame will be there to share his wit and wisdom as he always does. Dr. Tanya Harrison, author of For All Humankind, the untold stories of how the moon landing inspired the world. That's for you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, manager of science programs, Planet Labs. <laughs> and lastly, our Spirit of Yuri's Night Award winner, Nick Rhodes from Duran Duran will be there accepting the award virtually. We have a wonderful lineup tonight and it is virtual. Everybody is welcome to celebrate with us. We will drop those uh, pieces of information into the webcast uh, or, or into the chat about the webcast. And we look forward to seeing you safely. So um, if anybody, let's say, uh, has a question for Janet or for uh, Mark and Karen, could you please uh, type in the Q&A? And um, I didn't actually, I've been kind of going through it. I didn't see any specific questions there. A lot of praise for both of you guys. Yeah. And you did a great, great job, I got to tell you, of running down that, that wonderful thing that's happening tonight. We are so thrilled. Thank you so much for having us on Breakfast on the Moon. We brought our coffee, although it wouldn't be good in, in zero gravity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have uh, one question. Can I confirm? Can you confirm the start time for the Yuri party? It is. It starts at seven o'clock Pacific time. Seven p.m. Pacific time. Is that correct? It looks like they're moving. 4 p.m. our time. 4 p.m. our time, 7 p.m. Uh, uh, Florida time, because we have uh, Yuri's yeah. Night Space Coast and DC. Oh, I see. So they're saying 7 p.m. because Eastern Standard Time is 7 p.m. We will be uh, good to go here in Southern California and All right. on the West there Coast we at go. 4 p.m. Okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Good to have that. Yes. Good to have that straight. Four o'clock. Yes. So 
And we'll we throw that in the chat as well for you. Uh, we don't have to, the Californians are lucky because we won't have to stay up as late as you guys. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> After all hours. Absolutely. So um, I don't actually, Jana, they didn't see any um, any questions for you, but uh, if any panelists had anything. Kevin, thank you so much. I see in the I see in the chat, Kevin's like, oh, I love your sweatshirt. I rightfully <laughs> stole this from my husband because <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to honor Bill Nye. The Planetary Society is also based in Pasadena, California, and we have a lot of our Yuri's Night organizer events in, in and in around Southern California at Caltech or Planetary Society. Uh, right. Attractive. So, uh, thank you very much. I like it almost as much as he does when he gets to wear it. <laughs> so let's hope that this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship between the National Space Society and Yuri's Night. It is an oh. honor to have uh, oh, the opportunity. Honor. Thank it's you. It's an honor for us as so well. Yes. <laughs> Back to you, Joe. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate that.